Hey, welcome back to another video. As you can see, I'm standing in front of the camera with my mic and a lot of space where I can move my hands around and I really like it. So you can also see the nice painting from Marie in the background. So it will be a nice video. And today it's about a more generic topic, not so much about Bitwig Studio itself. It's about how you learn to produce music or how you get better at producing music. Um, I see a lot of questions whether or not you should take courses, classes or just go to YouTube to learn something. What's the best way? And it all depends. For instance, when you're a beginner, it's pretty nice to go to YouTube and just get a nice general overview of everything, what applications to use, whether or not you should use a hardware controller, which hardware controller, how to set it up, um, and so on. So there's a lot of stuff you can find on YouTube about this. This is a great way of doing this. And maybe you're an advanced producer and you can also go to YouTube and find a lot of good stuff about certain specific tricks, how to set up a parallel compression, for instance, or something like this, an advanced trick, some um, nice specific topic. So YouTube is also great for this. And it also depends on you as a person, what kind of person you are. Um, for instance, if you are an introvert like I am, um, I stay need to stay at home learn everything for myself go deep into the material and uh, dig my way up onto the surface to learn something make a lot of uh, fails failing attempts make a lot of errors to gain experience and there are also the extroverts that need actually physical contact to a teacher they need to ask questions and need to get direct feedback on us specific topic. So it depends on you and it depends on what you want to learn. And um, there's also something you can't learn with all these methods combined. And um, this is actually uh, getting better with your skill, with your producing skill. And um, but skill, I mean, not that you know how to use something like a compressor, you can learn this maybe in a week or two. You can learn which knob does what. But uh, the real skill is that you actually know which sound needs what treatment in what context or circumstance. So um, um, this is only possible to learn when you actually go to practice practice a lot so you need to finish a lot of shitty tracks to actually get better at producing and there's no way around this you can't you can't learn this on uh, class in classes or with a teacher you need to sit down daily on a daily basis and actually practice and when you talk to piano players it's the same same way they uh, will say to you that they actually practiced a lot and made a lot of boring lessons sitting down playing boring stupid patterns just to learn the muscle memory to get better at playing piano so um, this is one key point of getting better actually go to practice practice a lot and um, yeah um, when you finished uh, multiple tracks in a row or over maybe a year or so you have of course a lot of stuff results you can compare you can go back to your first uh, track and revisit it and compare to your newest track and can see what or can learn what you made differently and gain experience from that sometimes um, uh, different sounds work differently in different contexts so when you have a shitty kick drum for instance um, it can work in uh, in a specific context so shitty sound within good sounds can work or vice versa so it's it depends on everything but you only learn this 
when you actually practice and compare your results from your finished tracks. Also, it's pretty important that you finish the tracks because from start to the end or to the finish, there's a lot of different stuff you have to uh, uh, visit. At the start, you search for samples, the right uh, effects, the right instruments. In the middle, you have what to group and how to group it, how you uh, route different tracks into different buses or what effects to use. In the end, you have the mastering process and um, uh, then you listen, make test listening, listen on headphones, listen on your monitor speakers and so on. So there's a lot of stuff um, happening and a lot of stuff you can learn and you need to gain experience at every stage. So you need to finish the tracks from start to finish, even when you think in the middle of the track, well, this song is going to be shit. But you need to learn the rest of this also. Sometimes um, when you just go from the start to the middle of a track, you learn only the, the first parts, right? And then you come to the end parts and then you uh, basically fail. So um, you need to practice everything daily. So uh, this is a key point. And um, what we have... Also, contexts are important. Um, yeah, then there's the point of changing the context, uh, changing sounds. This is something I see a lot with producers that they shift around every time the context. And by that, I mean, um, as I said, when you have a shitty sound in a surrounding and it sounds good actually as a whole, as a track, and then you start to um, change one of the sounds because you, you think it sounds weak so you change it and then you need to change everything else because everything depends on this construction right so you change everything all the time we never come to a point where you say this is my track so you need to make decisions sometimes you need to say okay this is it this is now my kick drum and yet now i bounce it down and this is it i have that as an audio file and I'm done with it. I go on with the next track and so on. So um, this is something I see a lot uh, with uh, producers that you that they change uh, the context all the time and they never came to the conclusion that now this is my track. They made the decision. Um, this is it now. So um, this can lead to a lot of time waste where you actually sit in the studio for hours and never make a decision and run away from this decision by constantly changing all the sounds all the time. So, um, yeah, this is also something you learn when you finish tracks. Um, you learn how to make decisions and making decisions is a very important part of making music because you have to commit to something at some point. And the faster you can do it, then the faster you become in making tracks ready for uh, release. So um, these are my thoughts on this uh, specific topic, learning something and get better at producing. Practice, practice, practice. What are your thoughts? Tell me in the comments and I thank you for watching this video with my new podcast format. And um, yeah, I see you in the next one. Bye.